welcome back to Jackula's Castle. Today we're looking at the alien popcorn buckets. All three of them. Well, not all three of them. There is technically four of them. Um, but we've got the two from Regal. We've got the brand new one from AMC. Um, there is a Cinemark one um, that we didn't pick up. It's an alien head. A little different from this one. Uh, but, I mean, you can only spend so yeah. much money on alien popcorn buckets. Um, so, what'd you think of the movie? Uh, I wasn't there. <laughs> Day two of school, he did not have the strength to make it to the movies this afternoon. Which, uh, I know I'll regret. Ah, we'll pick, we'll see it again but, soon. yeah. However, I will say, you missed a good one. It was really good. That was good? Yeah, it was. Um, what popcorn bucket should we talk about first here? You want to talk about that? Well, you got to save that one for no. last. How about between these two? Let's talk about AMC. So what do you think so far? It's really cool, but I wish the horn tail thing was a face hugger. It is really cool. Like yeah. if it was a giant face hugger and you could put the popcorn, the popcorn in the face yeah. hugger, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe if they make a sequel. Mm -hmm. um, the back of this one does have the name, you know, the movie title and the date, the release date and all that on it. But the face hugger wraps all the way around this thing. I thought That's it was cool. a, I thought it was a pretty cool thing to do with these normally just kind of plain tin popcorn mm -hmm. buckets. We've got the alien head, okay, uh, which I thought was pretty cool too. I don't think it'll hold that much popcorn. It though. might not hold that much popcorn, but I'm not sure Wait that's entirely the point. Yeah, it won't. But it, it's cool. <laughs> So the difference is between this one and the Cinemark one. Uh, the Cinemark one, I think, has a little more paint on it. Uh, his mouth is closed, so you don't get the cool second jaw in oh, there, which okay. is pretty awesome. Who doesn't yeah. want the second jaw in there? You know, you know. And the other one doesn't have a neck either. Mm -hmm. uh, so on to what is my favorite one. This is my favorite, too. This one even lights up. It's just, to me, this is just the coolest one they made. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's lighting up green. There's a face hugger that just crashed out of the uh, out of the little tube. Yeah, and then on the back, you got the Wayland Yutani Corp logo. Okay. Um, which, speaking of, I went to the IMAX showing today, and they were giving out Wayland Yutani patches as well. Wait a second, Which I, I recognize, was pretty cool. recognize the name Yutani. Yep. It's from uh, some of the movies and some of the games. Yeah, it's always in the uh, in the Alien movies. No, but I mean like Yutani is a character in one of the games. So is Wayland. So oh. yeah, that, there, it's in all of them. I thought it was pretty cool that they gave out a patch as mm -hmm. well. So you agree with me that the, that you like the face hugger one the best? Yeah. Should we give them a little bit closer look at all of it? Yes. All right, let's take a real close look here. Start with a close look at the AMC one. Oh, I see. I didn't even realize that. Look, the uh, little oh, legs move. Yeah. See, That's that cool. one lifts up, it looks like. It's articulated. Huh. That is really cool. Yeah. Okay, I like that. That's even a little bit fancier. Uh-huh, way fancier. Um, but they did a, did a nice job on the face hugger here. It's got mm. nice paint on it. They did. Here you can see a, get a good look at the alien on the back side here with the release date and everything. That tail wraps all the way around this thing. You can see even on the bottom here, it says Alien Romulus. I will say that when I left, I think they might have already been gone. So uh, I wouldn't wait too long if you're after one of these guys. Mm -hmm. All right, Regal. Yeah, there's a good view straight down the mouth. Let's turn it over here. This one doesn't have, well, doesn't really have almost any paint. Um, so I, I guess that's the one drawback on this one is that yeah. it does not have much of any painted on detail, but it has a lot of nice sculpted detail. Now, this on is detail. not good. Yeah, it, it, clo it clicked closed. There it goes. Okay, it there. just doesn't click close all that well. But you can see on both sides here, it's kind of got the same detailing. See the neck down here. And then on the bottom, it says Alien Romulus, only in theaters. I think, that, I mean, they're all really cool. All right, let's move down to our favorite Okay, here. this is by far the best. I agree. This one, it's just different. It's cool. And it, I think it would actually hold quite a bit of popcorn. Well, let's open it up. Hold up one second. Let me get a good shot of the face hugger on here. 
and you can see down in here, it's got several LEDs in there, several green LEDs, mm -hmm. but it would actually hold a decent amount. Now, yeah, the hand even fits down in there Wait, pretty good. Look? Yeah. It'll be really hard though, when it's all the way down here because you'll have to- Yeah, <laughs> not only that- Why is it so cool down here? <laughs> it's and been the in the house in the air oh, conditioning. Okay, yeah. Uh, not only that, but once it's covered in butter, I don't know if you'd ever get it out. It is double insulated here. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's double walled. So your butter doesn't get, you know, mm -hmm. down into the lights and all of that. You see all the detailing on the bottom here. And then let me flip it over for you. You can see there's the on off switch here. It says alien. It you can replace the batteries. It looks bigger than it actually is because I do see what you mean by yeah, the wall. Yeah, it is a little smaller than it looked just because of that double wall. When you open the top here, you can kind of see, you know, it's just as small as the bottom. Because there. you can see the little uh, line yeah. there. And then down here, I'll show you that patch that they were given out. Um I'm not sure. I thought I had heard you needed to go see it in Dolby, but I got one for going to see it in IMAX, which was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I believe if you go tonight, you will get a pin as well. Oh, okay. okay, so I've got to say, as far as popcorn buckets go, the Alien Romulus ones, I think, mm -hmm. are some of the better ones they've done. I mean, you don't get a whole lot cooler than these. This one's amazing. And as far as I know, the next really cool ones coming up are the Beetlejuice ones. Yeah. Regal is going to have a big uh, Beetlejuice tombstone. I believe I saw that AMC was going to have the book. We saw the Cinemark Jack in the Box one. Oh, yeah. Um, we got the Cinemark Shrunken Head one, already, the drink cup already. So there's a bunch of stuff. I, I feel I like... I think it'll be cool. I feel like after Deadpool and the Wolverine and, and all that, mm -hmm. it's almost like popcorn buckets have kind of taken back off again. I agree. But they've all been really great. So, other than eating a lot of popcorn, what's next on our list? Um, what is next? <laughs> he has no idea. School? School? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, this weekend, we will probably hit Lowe's up, see if we can do, get a full animatronic demo going. Um, and hopefully Home Depot will be very soon. I see some people are finding that stuff online. So, keep an eye out for it all. We'll be back. Please like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.